All right, in this math review video, I'm going to show you how to do multiplication when you have multi-digit. Multi-digit multiplication meaning multi more than one digit. So I've got three problems here. Now the first one is just when you have one digit on the bottom. And basically what you want to do when you're doing multiplication like this is you want to make sure that every number at the top gets multiplied by the number at the bottom. So for example, we can kind of put a little line here and say, okay, 6 times 2 is what? 12. And we're not going to write 12 here because we can't write two digits. What we have to do is we're going to write the 2 and carry the 1. Next step is we're going to take the 6 and we're going to multiply it by the 3 there. 6 times 3 is 18 plus the 1 we carried is 19. And remember, I'm going to write this, the 1's place, the 9 for 19, and I'm going to carry the 1 over here. And then finally, I've got to take the 6, and I'm going to multiply it by the 4. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25. Okay? So that's how you do it with one digit in the bottom. And now if you've got two digits, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and do this. If I have a problem, 578 times 39, what I want to do is, I want to ignore this 3. Don't look at the 3 and just focus on the 9. And we're going to do the same thing that we did over here. We're going to make sure the 9 gets multiplied by the 8. 9 times 8 is 72. So we write the 2 and we carry the 7. And then we're going to take the 9 times the 7. 9 times 7 is 63 plus the 7 that we already carried. So 63 plus 7, if you count it up, is going to be 70. So I write the 1's place, the 0 of 70, and I carry the 7. And then we're going to take the 9 and we're going to multiply it by the 5. 9 times 5 is 45 plus the 7 we carried. So if you count up 45 and go up by 7, you're going to get 52. All right? So that's just kind of like we did on the first step. But now it's time to multiply the tens place. We're going to multiply this 3. But before we do that, one of, the, one of the most important steps in here, since we're moving over to the tens place, we need to put a placeholder 0 here. Because now we're going over to the tens place, and there's one 0 in 10. So we're going to put that 0 right there. And now we're going to get rid of these carry ones that we used before so they don't confuse us. Now we're going to ignore the 9, and we're going to look at the 3. So we're going to say, okay, 3 times 8. Well, 3 times 8 is 24, and we're going to carry the 2. And now we're going to multiply this 3 times the 7. Remember, I'm not even looking at the 9 anymore. I already did the 9. 3 times 7 is 21, plus the 2 I carried. 21 plus 2 is 20. Three. Notice how I'm lining up the numbers here. So 23, we're going to carry the 2. And then I've got one more over here. I need to do the 3 times the 5. 3 times 5 is 15 plus the 2. 15 plus 2 is 17. And remember, this is all based. What do I have to know in order to be able to do this problem? Yeah, you have to know your multiplication facts. You can know the steps, but if you don't know the facts, it's going to make it very, very tough to do. Okay, our final step is to add them all up. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 4, that's an easy one, 4. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. So once again, I'm going to write the 2, the 1's place, and carry the 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. And then I put my comma in there, so 22,542. Okay, we've got one more here. Same thing. We're going to not even look at the 5. We're just going to look, okay, make sure that the 3 gets multiplied by the top numbers. 3 times 6, 18, carry the 1. 3 times 4, 12 plus 1, 13, carry the 1. 3 times 2, 6 plus the 1, 7. Okay, now we're done with the 3, so 
So we're going to move over to the 5. But before you do this, you have to put the placeholder 0. If you forget to put this placeholder 0, your answer will be wrong every single time. Guaranteed, every single time. You've got to put the 0, because we're now over to the tens place. So again, I'm going to scribble these put these carry numbers that I used already, because I'm done with those. Now I'm going to look at the 5. 5 times 6 is 30, so I'm going to write the 0, carry the 3. Whoops, I'm going to look that up. There we go, 3. Next, 5 times 4, 20, plus 3 is 23, carry the 2. Then we'll say 5 times, whoops, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So I'm going to put the 12, and our last step is to add them up. 8 plus 0 is 8, 3 plus 0 is 3, 7 plus 3 is 10, carry the 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus nothing is 1, and I'll put my comma in there, 13,038. 13,038. The problems with these kinds of problems are, the, the tough thing is, look how many steps there are. And this step we had 1, 2, 3, placeholder 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This problem had 12 steps, so it's very important that you go slowly and really make sure that you don't make any silly mistakes. Okay, so that's how you multiply multi-digit numbers.